Hey, it's Jabbo. Welcome to Brickazar. This is your home for vintage Lego. I've been collecting Lego for at least 50 years. Uh, if you'd asked me this about 10, 15 years ago, I probably would have said uh, 2024 will be the 50th year of my collection. Uh, but I was talking to one of my sisters a couple of years ago. Uh, we were talking about these, um, get it right here, um, these Velveeta mail-in offers from Samsonite. And, oh, I still, it reminds me, I still need to finish piecing together the, the cars from this. Uh, she says she thinks I made my mom send in for that when I was a little, little thing. Um, I spent many a morning reading and rereading uh, the backs and sides of cereal boxes. I, and i pretty sure I, I had requested many things to be sent in for. <laughs> I collected many box tops. <laughs> Uh, so yes, it, that would have put it back early 70s, uh, so we're over 50 years probably officially. But um, So this year at the Lego house, which is a place I'll probably never get to go to, <laughs> I would love to go to, but I'll, I'll probably never be able to afford the time. Maybe when I'm retired I, I will have the time to go, uh, but that's the main thing keeping me from going. It would be cool if they opened a Lego house in North America like they do Legoland. I'd rather go to that than, is my microphone on? <laughs> uh, than all the way over to Europe. But anyway, you know, Den it makes sense to have the Lego house and obviously all that stuff in Billund, Denmark, uh, the home of Lego. And over the years, as a lifelong collector, uh, I remember things like Duplo. Uh, I remember Expert Builder, which was what it was called in the United States. And, um, yeah, this later became Technic. I don't remember Town Plan. Um, this is the 810 Town Plan. The Town Plan is kind of the early uh, use of the Lego brick uh, with HO scale vehicles. I love the HO scale vehicles. We've got an extensive collection of various HO scale vehicles uh, from the day. And I, I have a video I'm going to be doing um with my HO scale train layout. And I have another thing, idea I won't, I'll talk about that when I do that video. But, um, so the Lego house, last year I was a little disappointed with the exclusive and that it was the pirate, which they added some things to Redbeard to make it exclusive to the Lego, well, it was exclusive to the Lego house, but they gave it some Lego house touches. But I thought that was not a good Lego house exclusive because everybody wanted the pirate. I mean, the, I remember when my figures didn't even have faces, all right? And then you get red beard and the minifigure has beards <laughs> and facial expressions and stuff. So that was, you know, that was an uh, iconic, important era of Lego. So to make that behind the Lego house, I didn't really understand that. But this year's exclusive set, which I will have to rely on some from the someone from the community to buy it, and I have someone that's behind the scenes is going to help me uh, to get this that lives over in that area. But it's appropriate for the Lego house, and I do wish they would make it exclusive, like where you. Well, anyway, this, this is a whole other <laughs> story. I each year I request. To buy them from Lego House and each year they tell me no. I've sent my email this time. I know that they've sent them to other people in media. I request it and I'm, I haven't checked to see if I got a response but I'm sure I'm positive the re answer will be no because it always is no. I'm always told no. And the, the interesting thing this year is that it's the Lego system. So it features the three, three of the main systems which are Duplo, Technic and system. Now I did. I, I was going to get out my 810 template, <laughs> but it's uh, uh, it would require me require, require me moving some boxes. So this is the my extra board. So that basically you'd build your town on this board, and it was Lego bricks, and it had the the HO scale vehicle. So I've got a separate video on both the North American version of town plan set 725 and 810 town plan there are a couple other ones i won't 
to uh, do 842. Uh, the Lego House exclusive says it's town plan number one, which as much as I've researched Lego history, I've never, I don't recall hearing it being referred to as town plan number one, but that was predate, I think, even this one. Uh, so I gotta, I'm gonna be doing some more research because the more I learn, the more I realize I don't know. So I think I would be one of the few people. In fact, I challenge that I am the only person that before this date has covered in hand, not just talked about, like in hand, a town plan set. The Technic uh, uh, Expert Builder before Technic set, which is, you know, this is directly referenced in that Lego house system thing, and Vintage Duplo with tip. Well, I've talked about the tippers. I did the video where I got this. Um, this is just this set, this tipper wagon. Apparently, I like tippers. There's, there's a rumor going around that I like tippers. Um, so I went. I spent about 30 minutes before filming this video. I went and actually found a Duplo tipper wagon in my Duplo parts. The track, I have more of the black track. This is the original Duplo track. I thought I had done a video with the black track, but I realized I have I have one of the early sets, and I never did a video on it. I'm like, how did I not ever do a video on it? I only did ones with the modern, or the more modern equivalent, the gray track dark gray track but, um, from Duplo, but yeah, this is what the Duplo track originally looked like. And of course, the much like Lego trains with, that started in the blue era, we're now in the power functions era, everything fits. So all the Duplo trains, they fit on the modern track. The old trains fit on the new track. The new modern trains fit on the old Duplo track. Um, and they gave us different, oh, this is one thing. Duplo track had more varieties than modern or any of the scales of, uh, or not scales, any of the varieties of system Lego train tracks, like from the blue era, the the gray era, the nine volt era. Uh, we had different size straight tracks. Just having two different sizes of straight tracks, uh, that's what the black track era brought us. Uh, they had bridge ramps. They had interesting switches. They had crossings, angle crossings. So I'm like, why didn't they do more variety uh, with Lego system trains and, like they did with the Duplo? But um, yeah, so this is a, a, a small Duplo set from the, the early era of Duplo trains. I, I've got, I was thinking it's been over, oh my goodness, what year is this? It's been almost, it's been 20, it's been 20 years. I don't think I'll be able to find the picture for this video, but there was a picture at our old house. We've been in this house for 19 years. There's a picture at our old house with that uh, the train set from, I think, 2002 or 2003, the Duplo train, and my son there. And now i got a grandson that's the age my son was then. So this is, this, yeah, this was like, blows my mind how time uh, flies by. But uh, this is, uh, it's funny, ironically, I didn't plan it this way, but I just recently did the video on the uh, auto chassis. And, this, and uh, as I said in that video, I was very jealous of my neighbor, Billy West, who had <laughs> had the auto chassis. And I did not, but I finally have, have gotten it. So I've disassembled it. Yes, and I did think of uh, Short Circuit, Earl. Every time I say disassemble, I cannot say the word disassemble either without thinking, no disassemble. Um, but yeah, I did disassemble the uh, auto chassis. But so, who else on YouTube has covered this stuff in hand? Like, not just talk about like pictures of it and share press releases and pictures. It's like I actually have talked about this stuff, and I'm not only that, I'm passionate about it. So, if there is anybody in media that was deserving of a test of the lego system i say it's bricks are am i wrong am i wrong am i wrong? tell me am i wrong and if i am wrong please let me know and i want you to I, like there's people that comment on all of my videos or almost all of my videos there's people that watch a lot of my videos and they may not comment um 
And I'm trying to do this without being snarky. I had to let several hours go by. <laughs> but um, I, I think I think I would have been one <laughs> that would have been a good one to promote that because I love this stuff. I do. All right, I'm not mad. <laughs> do you believe me? <laughs> this is a Legoland shirt, by the way. Another place I've never been. And you, you, you'll be saying, how, how can you say you love uh, Lego products and you've never been to Legoland? I've not made a money. Actually, i got to buy the Lego products. I don't know. That's a good question. Why have I, there's one in Florida. Why have I never been? Maybe I'll go one day, but thank you. Uh, who sent me this shirt? Was it was it Intalk that sent me this? I got so many shirts in 2021, I can't remember. <laughs> this is one of those shirts I got in 2020. So no, I have not been to Legoland, but I do pretend like I've been to Legoland by wearing a Legoland shirt on YouTube. And I'll be back tomorrow in a different shirt. It might not be Lego related, though.